Hey guys, what's going on? It's Starfield Dad here with another video. Quick update on Starfield, which is right around the corner. But I first gotta say a tremendously big thank you to all of you guys who've been supporting this channel and me with the likes, the comments, everything's been great. I can't thank you all enough. It has been tremendous and I look forward to keep growing with you all. Now jumping into the story, I was on Reddit and I found the guy who brought to light a great feature this game is going to have that I didn't think about previously. And because of this feature, if you haven't got hyped up enough or pre-ordered the game yet, I think this might change your mind. The Reddit user I'm speaking of is Faulty Droid, and on August 21st, he perfectly summed up one of the perks of the single player genre, reiterating why Starfield is going to be so much better than multiplayer competitive titles and their annoying list of falls. As you can see here, he says no griefers, no screechers, no server queues or downtime or maintenance, no raids, no crying about balancing or in game. I cannot wait. Faulty droids post reads and that comments clearly show how Starfield fans couldn't agree more with him. This statement alone piqued my curiosity because it's one thing that we all know of in multiplayer games is that there's so many different things, whether it's about balancing weapons because it's unfair to the other players or the in-game content or the server queues when a game is launched. With a single player game, especially with Starfield, we're not gonna have to worry about that. Now, one comment did say on Faulty Droid's post that between BG3 and Starfield, single player microtransactionless games are back on the menu, boys. Now, while we don't 100% know if Starfield will be microtransactionless, as perfectly stated here by Vet Kit Soon, they put it into a real perspective that truthfully, we don't know if it will be microtransactionless, but as stated, the ESRB rating for the game also lists in game purchases, which I noticed that on my Xbox Game Pass as well. Fans went on to mention on the Reddit post that all major single player hits of 2023, including Hogwarts Legacy, Tears of the Kingdom, Dead Space Remake, Final Fantasy 16, and many more. One commenting fan said, it's been a great year for single player games. With Hogwarts earlier this year and now Starfield and Baldur's Gate 3, we've been pretty spoiled. But besides hailing the single player genre, players also discussed how promising Starfield's future is, especially if Bethesda releases new explorable planets through DLCs. And in that same conversation, Reddit user Beefsteak Tomato commented pretty well saying, so Bethesda games always have DLC that includes a new map, roughly 25% the size of the base map. So Starfield has a thousand planets in the base game. Will that mean the DLC will allow us to explore 250 new planets? If so, that's huge. Now, obviously we can't say yay or nay on that. We don't know the truth or what the DLCs will even be like in size comparison but it'll be interesting to see what size those DLCs will be and what kind of content comes with it. Now, don't get me wrong. I love a multiplayer experience. I played Destiny 1 and 2 religiously for years because the experience that you got a single player campaign, but also could play with friends and have fun builds and search for loot. The problem over time was new expansions, new DLCs, just like stated earlier, you had long queue waits, the in-game content wasn't up to par and the repetitive grind to get the better loot was becoming monotonous and tiresome. But the serenity of the single player experience is attractive and a welcome change for any frustrated online multiplayer fan like myself. I've true, I've always been a single player guy through and through my entire life. And being a Bethesda fan from the get go does help with my excitement for this game coming in just about a week. But let me know your thoughts. Does the fact that you don't have long queues or different things holding you back, in-game content, etc., help you relate to this and get more excited to pre-order if you haven't pre-ordered yet? Or is it just another bonus in what already could be the best game of the year? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you all in space at Astra.